friends, it is the comforting sounds of Barry Steakfry's voice coming right out of your phone and straight into your ears or out of your headphones and straight into your ears or your computer or your tablet or your friend's computer or tablet if you're all hanging out together watching a bit of old steak fries while you're enjoying each other's company. Um, you guys allowed to allowed to do that yet? Uh, I know in, in some parts of the world some things are slowly starting to return to normal, which is good. You know, small gatherings, some sporting leagues are getting back up and going. We know how important it is to bring some normality into the lives of our beloved steak fans as well, which is why we're back in the studio, my friends, this week. Yeah! Doesn't that make everything a little bit better, guys? Well, it does for me. Pretty happy to be out of the bunker. Things were, uh, starting to get a bit weird down there. Uh, so here we are. And before you all freak out, yes, it's all been bio-cleansed. We're taking full precautions here on the Barry set. And that includes, unfortunately, no more studio audience. I know you guys might be shocked to hear that, uh, but we had to do away with the live audience for, for obvious reasons. You, you may not have realized that we even had a live audience at the Barry Vlog, and it's probably because they very rarely clapped or laughed at my jokes. But that's, that's not important, guys. The important thing is they're not here now. And that's the end of that. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys are all keeping safe, keeping well, trying to keep things on track no matter where you are, even if things are getting back to normal where you are at the moment watching this. There's, there's still things we all need to remember to keep doing, guys. You know, distancing and personal hygiene. It's all, it's all going to be pretty important for a little while yet, I reckon. So thought it was a pretty good opportunity for me Barry Steak Fries, the voice of reason that we all turn to in our times of need. Thought I'd remind everyone of the things we need to keep doing to keep ourselves safe, keep each other safe. It's, it's no time to be complacent, my friends. So look, first tip I've got for you, make sure you keep washing your hands. You know, it's pretty basic, but I mean really wash them. You know, I know the advice says like 30 seconds. Let me tell you, Barry doesn't wimp out on the hand washing, like the so-called experts. Uh, my advice, wash your hands for at least 20 minutes at a time, all right? They're not really clean unless you've gone through about two and a half bars of soap, guys, all right? And don't skimp on the hand sanitizer either. I put it everywhere. I put it on my hands, my face, my hair, even my feet. That's right. You think there's no germs on the ground or in your shoes? think again. So just keep up the washing, guys. You can even wash, you can even wash your clothes if you want to get real crazy. I just found out recently there's a, there's a machine they invented that can do that for you. Unreal. Uh, probably a topic for another vlog, I reckon. Uh, moving on, next most important thing, you got to take care when you go get your groceries. You know, lots of people at the supermarkets, you got to be careful. So, so much potential for germs to spread around. Like if I'm picking up my fruit and veg from the shops, I bring my own tongs, all right? Might seem extreme, um, but that's how I want to pick things up. And not just one pair either. I have a separate pair of tongs for each item, all right? This is basic hygiene. You use the tongs, pick up your apple, put it in your cart, throw those tongs away. Get some new tongs, grab a banana. Then you throw those tongs away. Then you grab a can of beans with your next pair of tongs. You get rid of them because they're tainted now. Then you grab some new tongs and you, you can get some, well, some tongs probably from the shelf because well, I'm going through a lot of tongs. Uh, and I kind of like saying the word tongs. It's good fun. Um, but the question is, how many pairs of tongs is your safety worth? I'll let you know, guys. I'm, I'm probably going to find out pretty soon. Um, now, look, the other thing we all need to be aware of, of course, you're probably all doing it, but social distancing, keeping our distance from each other, 
I know a lot of us are still getting way too close, okay? So I've come up with a bit of a bit of an invention. So if you could picture it, it's like a belt, but it's got these like big, like two meter long spikes sticking out in like every direction. So making a full circle around your waist, two meter spikes. No one is getting within two meters of steak fries without getting stabbed. It's a foolproof method, guys. Patented steak fries design, the old spike belt. So if anyone wants to buy a spike belt from me, let me know. I really need to sell some pretty soon. I may have a large tongue-induced debt right at the moment. Now look, when you go out in public with the spike belt, granted you might get some weird looks from people when you go out, but what you won't get is any kind of disease. So that's the good news. Uh, so look, those, those tips should probably keep you pretty safe guys get you through this crazy time uh that's what i'm here for guys help you guys through and uh yeah you're welcome you're welcome friends um let's get some questions i reckon what do we got this week not dark says stay at home yeah yep i forgot that one thanks thanks not dark you should stay at home guys that's that's tip number four or however many i was up to um but look all I'm saying is, if you have to go out, wear the spike belt. Um, and maybe a spike hat, in case someone tries to hug you in the face or something. That's pretty good. I just thought of that. Spike hat. I'll write that down. Uh, so wear your spike belt, wear your spike hat, take a few pairs of tongs, she'll be right. Um, Aiden Davis, read all of comments in every all episodes right right of course i read them all Aiden. my fans thoughts and feedback is of utmost importance to me and i have heaps of time to kill at the moment while i'm while i'm washing my hands i can read them all a few times actually uh what else have we got this week ar animation asks barry would you kill a pack of zombies or kill the virus Oh man, um, so, so you're saying that if I had a choice between killing the virus or killing a bunch of zombies, which one would I do? That's a tough question, man. I mean, I love killing zombies, but I guess, I guess Barry selflessly here will take one for the team and kill the virus. Um, I'll kill the virus on one condition that I get to kill a whole horde of zombies straight afterwards. Um, that seems fair. That seems fair. Uh, NS Golf, hey Barry, can you wear a tuxedo next vlog? <laughs> ah, I would love to wear a tux there, yeah, NS Golf. Unfortunately, it just costs me way too much. I end up just ripping the sleeves straight away. I lose my higher deposit on the tux. Uh, come to think of it, the Tux rental place won't even let me back back in the door. They they got my picture hanging up behind the counter and everything. I thought it was because they were just big fans. Uh, but then they, they just kept yelling at me until I left. Uh, so no is the answer to that one, mate. Sorry about that. Barry doesn't let his fans down very often. But there you go. Uh, maybe time for one more. Cool Tim. Cool Tim. Cool name. Hey Barry, do you hang out with anyone else? <laughs> of course I do. Of course I do, cool Tim. What a thing to ask. Barry hangs out with loads of people. Barry's got friends. I mean, he doesn't hang out with anyone right at the moment. Uh, but, you know, I got loads and loads of people. Uh, like, uh, like the Tux Rental Shop guy. Um, well, I mean, not, not so much him anymore. Um, but look, the answer is, obviously the answer is yes, I don't have time to list everyone that I hang out with, because we're totally out of time this week, thanks guys, great question there, cool Tim, great name, let me know if you want to hang out anytime, uh, anyway, look, once again, hope everyone's doing okay, hope you're all staying safe, feel free to hit me up in the comments, let me know how you're doing, 
because uh, I'd love to know. And uh, obviously, we're all in this together, Steak fans. So I'll see you guys real soon. Good on you.